Hello, uh, this is Father Dan Cassis at St. Rita Church in Cholo. We're going to have our second day of our novena uh, for Pentecost to the Holy Spirit. But I'd like to let everyone know initially, today we got word from the bishop via email. Um, today's the 23rd of uh, May, Saturday, uh, that um, on the 29th of this month, we are going to once again begin having public masses, masses with an assembly and the other sacraments. Now, in terms of how this will be implemented, the protocols don't really have those settled yet. We don't seem to have a diocesan policy as such, but each pastor is given uh, his discretion to implement this in, in a reasonable and safe fashion. Um, we're going to do it in accord with what the governor of Arizona's um, plans for churches, uh, places of worship are. And then I'll learn from the experience of the other dioceses in, um, in Arizona. You'll hear more about this later uh, this coming week. Uh, but just so everybody knows, beginning next Friday, uh, we will have uh, our normal daily mass and that will be open to the, to the public and communion will be distributed. And then on the weekend, the weekend of Pentecost, we are going to start our, with our normal four masses and see how that works. We may also be distributing communion after the masses for those who uh, cannot come or don't feel comfortable or can't, if we just, it'll be difficult with numbers, I think. But we're gonna have to learn as we go, but we are gonna implement policies whereby there'll be proper physical distancing so that people stay healthy and safe. But once again, we're gonna be able to come together for the Eucharist. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, today is the second day of the Novena to the Holy Spirit. And what I'd like to, to tell you is that probably the this Novena uh, to the Holy Spirit for Pentecost is really the first of all novenas. Uh, because we know from the Acts of the Apostles, after Jesus ascended into heaven, which was um, celebrated 40 days after uh, the resurrection, this is liturgically how we've done it, uh, we're told that after the, the he ascended to heaven, and uh, it says that, the, they then returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. And when they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter, James, John, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All of these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. And that's the account in the uh, Acts of the Apostles. And, uh, uh, and they were looking forward to the giving and the gifting of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and they were told that they would receive the Holy Spirit. And that's what we celebrate on Pentecost. So it's really nine days after uh, the celebration of the Ascension that Pentecost is celebrated, the giving of the Holy Spirit. Um, usually it's, it's always traditional that Ascension Thursday, but in the United States, most of our dioceses, for the sake of the, all the congregants and the assemblies and parishes around the country, uh, it's transferred, the Feast of the Ascension is transferred to Sunday, the Sunday before Pentecost. Uh, there's a couple of dioceses back east where they don't do that. Uh, but well, of course, we do this in our diocese as well. So this coming Sunday, tomorrow, is a, the celebration of the Ascension. You'll note that this Novena to the Holy Spirit uh, goes according, celebrating each day, speaking about the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which you find in the uh, fifth chapter of St. Paul's letter to the church at Galatia, to the Galatians. And um, there are nine fruits of the Holy Spirit that our modern translations have listed. Um, if you were to look in the Catechism, number 1832, you'll see that there are 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit listed based upon these same verses in 
in St. Saint, Saint, um, Paul's letter to the Galatians. That's because in the translation um, from the languages of Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic into Latin that was first done, uh, the Vulgate, at the um, bidding of Pope Damasus, St. Jerome at the end, who lived at the end of the um, fourth century and into the fifth century, uh, did this translation to what's called the Vulgate or the or into the um, language of the people huh? and uh, the Latin as it were. And that's kind of been the official translation. It's always, it's been updated over the years, et cetera, et cetera. But they've maintained in the catechism, the Catholic tradition, of having 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit. And really what that does, it's just, there's a couple of the words uh, in the Greek text and then in the Latin text and the Latin text that kind of are filled out better by adding a few other spirits or uh, fruits of the Holy Spirit. Goodness, modesty, and chastity are added in the catechism. If you look at the catechism, the fruits of the Holy Spirit are perfections that the Holy Spirit forms in us as the first fruits of eternal glory. In the tradition of the church, there are 12 listed. And of course, we have the nine that are in the modern translations of the scriptures. But the catechism still uh, lists 12 of them. And that's from the translation from the, from the Vulgate, um, which is fine. There's not that. It's really just kind of a, an expansion and a filling out of the Greek and Latin words into English and in, et cetera, into Latin. So our novena uh, on the second day focuses on joy, the fruits of the Spirit. And, and you know, the fruits of the Spirit is, uh, you know, the Lord says in the Gospels, he says, you'll know them by their fruits. And um, the fruits of the Holy Spirit are infused habits or habituations in us, in dispositions, uh, because of the presence of the Holy Spirit and the participation in divine life as a consequence. Today, I baptized a baby. And this little baby, God bless her soul, uh, a new Christian, a new sister of ours in Christ, a new child of mine is baptizing her into Christ, a spiritual father. Um, the name is Martha Rose. And uh, a beautiful child, a child of Natasha and Aldo. And, um, it was a wonderful thing. It was only the parents and one godparent uh, present uh, because of the uh, restrictions right now, but it's wonderful. And of course, um, the Holy Spirit is infused. It's come into her now. It's come into this little baby, this beautiful little girl. And um, the fruits of the Holy Spirit are infused with that. The fruits of the Holy Spirit are infused as well, along with... Um, with all of what else comes to us by participation in divine life. And um, so today we're celebrating this novena, praying this novena, and we're focusing on joy, on joy. Of course, the first day was love. Now we have joy. Tomorrow we'll have peace and then patience and kindness and goodness, etc., etc. But this joy that is given to us by the Holy Spirit is not a joy that comes um, by some sort of... Um, emotional uplift, as it were. It's a joy that we have because of the surety that we have, that in faith and staying our, living our lives joined with Christ and all of the saints and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, that we have a joy that, the, that the, um, the world cannot shake. And the world being that aspect of humanity and a creation that's alienated from God or opposed to God, as it were. And it can't be shaken. It can't be shaken. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a manifestation of the surety that we have that we participate in divine life and we have this incredible hope, a sure hope, that uh, we shall live in the glory of God forever. And when there's a new heaven and a new earth, we shall be participants and we shall reign with Christ, as it were. So let's go ahead and, and do the prayer for today. Um, and if you don't have this, go to the website, click through to uh, uh, on the Holy Spirit Novena and sign yourself up for it. Or you can get the prayers, download them ahead of time if you wish to say the prayer with me 
uh, here uh, on these videos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us bow down in humility at the power and the grandeur of the Holy Spirit. Let us worship the Holy Trinity and give glory today to the paraclete, our advocate. O Holy Spirit, by your power, Christ was raised from the dead to save us all. By your grace, miracles are performed in Jesus' name. By your love, we are protected from evil. And so we ask with humility and a beggar's heart for your gift of joy within us. All of the saints are marked with an uncompromisable joy in times of trial, difficulty, and pain. Give us, O Holy Spirit, the joy that surpasses all understanding, that we may live as a witness to your love and fidelity. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.